I've got an idea. Sheldon, can I have your trumpet, please? Thank you. Ah, here are some sleigh bells. Danny, can I have your triangle, please? Thank you. Miriam, can I have your clarinet? Thank you. Miriam, there's a triangle. OK, let's try it again. Wait a minute, what just happened? The greater good, Danny. The greater good. Sir, th there are no sleigh bells in this song? No, but Christmas will be along before you know it. OK, let's try it again. And! Much better. Oh, man. Sad day for rock and roll. Up above us all Leaning into sky Our golden business boy will Watch the north and die And sing I love this town Then let his arcing wrecking ball proclaim One more sleep in your home. How does that feel, Dad? I cannot <laughs> wait to get out of this dump. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, we're so excited, <laughs> Sam. We've even planned a couple of surprises. What surprises? Oh, we got you the cutest little day bed. Day bed? Well, you know, so you can just kind of hang out downstairs. Really? Surprise. <laughs> you know, I, I figured, uh, I, yeah, I did a lot of thinking about it, and I thought this would be fair, to start out with me just teaching one lesson a day. Do you think? What? What? They won't ensure you to teach, Sam. Not yet. What the hell am I supposed to do? Rot? Why, why'd you waste money on a day bed? You might as well have got me a coffin. All this No! No! No, Josh, honey! Don't... Okay, I'm dropping the hammer. No, 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 no. no. Just, just leave it, leave it. Yee what the hell is this? Just huh? wait. It's a scooter. And it goes zero to eight in 20 seconds. Surprise! It's the final nail in the coffin. Yeah. No, Lord, that money is Artie's, not mine. Look, do you have anything in writing that explains your business arrangement with the late Artie Rosen? Formula? No. But you have $200,000 of his money in your account. He was selling off his inventory. He wanted to use my eBay account. Having his money in your account raises your tax level. Oh, but it's not my money but it's in your account. Any luck contacting his next of kin? He has a son, uh, David. Well, you need to find him and give him the money, otherwise. No, no, I can't, I've tried. I would try harder. Mr. Biker? Uh, what are you doing here? Welcome to my stories. But you've been discharged? Huh? No, it's tomorrow. I'm guessing he hasn't told you about me, has he? Is that your uh, scooter there? Yes. Did you want me to call you Handy Trans? Because uh, I could... No, no, no. My wife will pick me up tomorrow when I'm supposed to be leaving. No, okay. Well, we'll get you going, Mr. Blecker, because we really need the bed. What do you mean, okay? Get your hands off me. All right, I can take it. He's not hinting. He's telling you to get out of my bed. I'll punch you in the IV. Mr. Blecker, please. Try it, fat man. I'll rip your nuts off. Too late, asshole. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry. Such good bad kids You wouldn't believe all the things we did You would not believe all the things
faces we Band. You guys quit. Uh, after you got us demoted to sleigh bells and whistles. You guys got yourselves demoted because you suck at music. Hey, anybody want to help my Aunt Clara run through a dusty old store and not get paid? How much are we not getting paid? A lot. Hello? Hello. Can I speak to Sam Blecker, please? This is his wife. Can I take a message? This is the hospital calling. When he left today, he forgot his medication. What do you mean, when he left today? It says here that you picked him up at 1.37 p.m. today. Well, I'm telling you that I didn't. Well, I'm just going by what it says here. Uh, forget about what it says there. I am here. I'm home. I've been home all day, and I did not pick him up. You did. What did you say? Nothing. Look, where's my husband? You tell me. Can I speak to your supervisor? She's just gonna tell you the same thing. You put your supervisor on. Hello, this is her supervisor. Am I talking to the same person? Look, you picked your husband up today. When you feel like picking up his medication, give us a call. <laughs> Larry King is getting married again. I am paying you to help me. All right. Could you please take this seriously? If I don't find David Rosen, I am totally screwed. You checked Artie's phone bill, right? Hello, Detective 101. Check the phone bill. The first thing they teach you. Look, Artie called that number six times last month. Try that. Josh, that is actually a good idea. Don't play a cop on TV without picking up a few things. Josh. What? Go and see if there's anything about David Rosen in Artie's apartment. Oh, my God. This place is filthy. You guys volunteered. Ah, uh, you didn't say we'd be searching a dirty room. Yes, in fact, I said exactly that. Look, I'm 16, man. I'm in my prime, okay? There's got to be more to life than this. You know what? I've had it, okay? You two are free to go. Okay, anything? I'm just starting. Okay, remember, we're looking for anything related to David Rosen. I'm on it. Guys, thank you so much for helping me out. Okay. All right, all right! Yeah, fucking... Don't touch, it's broken. It's not broken, it just needs a charge. These things, they charge? The cord. Oh, you got one. How long would it take? About half an hour if you don't live too far away. Do you? Uh, where, where, what street is this? Where are we? Oh, you don't know where you are? Oh, do you forget where you are a lot? No, I don't. Grandma no. used to do that. No, I'm not seeing that. That's all right. Figure it out together. No, like, look, I know where I am. I'm brought up in Winnipeg. I'm from here. <laughs> oh, am I in Winnipeg? Yeah. Yeah. Check me out. Oh, what the hell are you wearing? Clothes from upstairs, which I believe belongs to this man. Is that David Rosen? No. I'm David Rosen. What the hell are you talking about? We don't know where David Rosen is. So, I go to the bank, say I'm David Rosen, sign the papers, you transfer the money, problem solved. And how are you gonna make them believe that you're David Rosen? 
Easy. No, I'm David Rosen. And when they ask to see your ID? I ask for the manager. And when the manager asks to see ID? It's gonna work, okay? It's called identity theft, and it's illegal. Oh, so the guy who won the Oscar for Gandhi, he just picked it up and went straight to jail? Nice try. Excuse me. Who are you? Oh, David Rosen. Yeah. Who are you? David Rosen. Found him. Welcome home, Pally. We have been looking for you. Okay. My work here's done. Oh my God. Who are you people? So are you traveling now or? Yeah. I'm actually from Windsor. But I forgot last night if my dad said we were stopping in Winnipeg or Saskatoon next. Shouldn't you be in school or something? I so want to be. But dad has to find a job first, you know? He's downtown right now. Is he? Yeah. He'll get it. I'm a positive thinker. Yeah, well, you gotta be, of course. Have you ever woken up not knowing where you are? Not lately. It's weird. It's more than okay, it's great. You got the libraries, you got the, the museums, you got parking, very easy, very accessible. Anything good? Oh, and in the winter, you could go ice skating on the Assiniboine River. On the river? On a river for miles and miles and miles. That's so cool. You know what, I'm gonna do that. So is that near here? Is that, uh, it's, uh, uh th th this way. Finish your soup. Yep. What if something's happened to him? Mom, relax. I found David Rosen. I'm fine, Dad. Hospital lady said that he got out at 137. That puts him within a 16, 24, kilometer radius of the hospital. Why hasn't he called me? Let's get in the car and chase him. Okay, no, wait, wait, what if he comes home while we're gone? You stay, I'll go. No, I am not staying. Okay, change of plan, you go, I'll stay. If he comes, I'll let him in, we'll watch Oprah. No, call if he comes home. And that. So you were in the van that he died in, and you have all of his money in your bank account. I feel terrible about what happened. Yeah, well, you should. Hey, I have been trying to get a hold of you for four weeks. Where the hell were you? Don't change the subject. Don't you finish telling me about how you talked my dad into giving you all his money, because he is no dummy. Talk? No, no, no. He didn't give me the money. I was doing him a favor. Well, that is some favor. I am not a thief. No? Then what are you? Wow. Okay, I am gonna leave now, and I cannot wait to get this money off my hands. You get a lawyer, do the probate. Yeah, and call the cops. Oh, go to hell! Artie always called you his troubled son. I guess that was his code for asshole. Keys to the store, they're all yours.
Is that yours? Is it? No, no, it doesn't belong to you, does it? Why don't you take it off? You shut that off. You shut it off. Thank you. Who's this guy? Oh, me? Oh, I'm just the uh, get the fuck out of my place guy, and this is my fucking stuff, so get the fuck out of my place! Forgot her bag in here. Oh. Could you please? Uh, yeah. Thank you. You're David, aren't you? I'm really sorry about your dad. He was a cool guy. Hey, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Who do you, uh, you're like a relative of mine or something? No. So why the hell are you people hanging around my dad? We liked him. And I told her she would always be my best friend at home, but I might have to make new friends wherever we end up living. That's Sarah you're talking about, No, right? Sarah had the broken leg. Yep. It's my dad. Positive thinking. Hi, Dad. How'd it go? Oh, okay. I'll be ready. See you soon. Dad wants to leave as soon as he gets home. It's too bad that you can't stay here. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Are? Yes. Are you sure you know how to get back to your home? Yeah. Yes. Well, you get home safe. I will. You too. Bye. Bye. Dad still hasn't called home, but... Mom, I got bad news. He's had enough time to get to the airport. Oh, Josh. Listen, in that time frame, three flights have left Winnipeg now. I'm gonna rule out Singapore right away. It's a long-ass flight, plus it's expensive. So I don't know how much cash he's had on him. Josh! But that leaves us with Las Vegas or Washington, D.C. My money's on Vegas. I can see him! Where are you? Campion Park. Nice. Teamwork. Bring him home, Ma. Uh. Bring him home. Sam! Sam! Round two? Okay, two things. One, you are Artie's son. I loved him. So I'm sorry about the things that I said. And two, can I please have my keys back? Can I ask you something? What? I can't make heads or tails of this. It's obvious that you and my dad were, you know, working on something here. We were. Can you help me out? I think it's in Yiddish. Oh, that's just Artie's messy writing. Yeah, but eBay? What the hell was he doing with eBay? We were selling his inventory. He made a lot of money. Oh, well. That was very nice of you. 
Oh, God. I'm sorry. I forgot all about them. I'll get them out of here. Oh, it's okay. I let them play. It's kind of keeping me company right now. Like this. Here, see, see. Uh -huh. What's that? That actually is Yiddish. Let me see this here. <laughs> <laughs> This is not your calling. I mean, we had no way of knowing where you were. And anything could have happened to you. I swear to God, if you have to go back into that hospital, I just I wanted honestly... to go for a ride. What? I just wanted to go for a ride. Uh, okay. Ride over. Let, let's go. I just want to sit for a minute. What are you doing? No, I, I don't want, I don't want a jacket, right. okay? And I don't want a, a day bed. Okay. And I don't want a stay of dating. I see. Well, you want me to return the scooter? No, I like the scooter. I'm not done yet, okay? I just don't, don't treat me like I'm done. Where are you going? I'm going home. Now you come home when you're ready, on your scooter. Dinner will be waiting. <laughs>